We are tracking the tropics and that is therefore tropical storm Helene. That's really the big player right now with the biggest threat to the United States uh, moving just to the east now of Cancun, Mexico. As of our latest 8 a.m. advisory winds at 70 miles an hour and it looks like this thing's going to strengthen quick as it moves over very warm waters well over 80 degrees in the eastern Gulf of Mexico and eventually to the Big Bend of Florida could be a category three hurricane when it does so. You may remember Debbie uh, that hit this area uh, just in the past couple of months and then before that there have been other storms, but most notably Michael back in 2018. That was a devastating category five that hit really almost in the same potential spot. Then this moves its way northbound and eventually weakens uh, places like Atlanta, Georgia could have some tropical storm force winds by the time this moves inland. Uh, sometime later Thursday into early Friday could even have some heavy flooding rain potential and then this and the leftovers moves its way inland and eventually take a look at these computer model trends first taking this pretty good agreement on shore right around the big bend of Florida. It's gonna be a big storm though, so there could be impacts all the way east to Key West and Tampa, Florida in terms of especially coastal flooding. And then it makes kind of a stall and a loop to loop and then moves eastbound. By then it's going to have very, very little circulation left. It'll just be kind of a big batch of diffuse moisture. But if it does make that turn, comes pretty close to us, actually just south of our area over central Virginia, which would mean we would get some remnant moisture. Maybe one round as it makes its first pass coming in from the south on Friday and another one as it makes that pass just to our south moving eastbound on Sunday and could even have some heavier rain. Then Helene looking very healthy. Look at all the reds, the oranges and yellows. It's now moving into the southern Gulf of Mexico. That is uh, strong thunderstorm activity wrapping right around the center of this looking very, very healthy. So this is going to have a lot of water with it being a very big storm. It's going to collect a lot of storm surge. So up to 12 plus feet of storm surge. This is going to be north of Tampa back to about Panama City Beach. That's where the worst of the coastal flooding will be. But even in uh, the Tampa area, especially some of these nooks and crannies on the coastline could get uh, at least up to nine feet of storm surge, potentially even up to 11 feet just north of Tampa and then back uh, just west of Panama City Beach. A lot of the coast of Florida, the West Coast is going to be seeing impacts from this tropical storm watches, tropical storm warnings, hurricane watches, hurricane warnings all the way from uh, places in Mexico and Cuba across much of the Florida coastline. This again, it's going to be a big storm, probably impacting both coastlines with at least tropical storm force winds. Those tropical storm watches go all the way up to Georgia in South Carolina. Also, the storm surge warnings in effect from the Big Bend of Florida southbound to almost Key West towards the Fort Myers area. So our future cast forecast this thing moving on shore and then eventually the moisture could potentially end up impacting us as we head into late Saturday and Sunday. So this again could have some high impact in Florida and then some rain or at least continue our wet pattern around here as we head through Friday and then again into the late weekend.